What'd you catch there? Does he have a lizard in his mouth? I think it just has grass in his mouth. Oh, there's a lizard there. Oh, he's got it. He's got the lizard in his mouth. Okay, we're going for another walk. He's way ahead of me already. Okay, he's found the other cat again. Tuxedo cat's here. I don't think Tuxedo cat wants to be friends, but... Well, he's gone. He wants to go see Tuxedo cat. Tuxedo Cat doesn't want to be your friend. So we're moving pretty soon to Alberta. I don't know how it's going to be, but I think it'll be very different. I keep saying it's going to be a desert compared to this place. Sometimes Rococo will spend like five minutes in front of around the bush, smelling it and rubbing his body against the bush. <laughs> and I'm like, come on, we have to go. We can't stay here all day. So I have to pull him a little bit and then he's like reluctantly starts to go. It's like a bear. Well, that's how I imagine a bear to be. Doesn't want to come home for sure. It's just um, too beautiful out here, too exciting, too interesting, too many new things to discover. I guess a house can get pretty boring. It's like a cage, I guess, for him. I think there's some chicory growing over here. The canaries really like to eat the chicory seeds. Okay, we're out for a morning walk. It seems a little darker than usual. Maybe it looks like it's raining a little bit, actually. Might have to go back inside to get a hat. Rococo's really happy to get outside. It is a lot cooler, too. Fall weather is hitting us here in Victoria, BC. And Rokoko's ready for his walk. Yeah, it just started raining. I've forgotten what rain's like. You can hear the construction in the background there. There's always construction. It's very annoying. There's like cracks in the road when you drive everywhere you go to. I can't believe it's raining. So we're just sitting here, standing off, looking at Mr. Tixio Cat under the bushes. I haven't really taken a closer look yet, but you can tell with the twitching of the tail that he is there. Oh, I did see a movement. I see a head move. So he's awake and he's aware that Rococo is there. Rokoko is just inching in closer to Mr. Tuxedo Cat. Pacing slow motion beside him. But no progress has been done. Mr. Tuxedo Cat is standing, standing his guard or ground, and he isn't moving. And Rokoko is sniffing and Twitching, pacing, and looking around. You no, know, he just closed his eyes a little bit. He's pretty happy that he's had this much time with this Chichixito cat, even if it's behind a veil of bushes. Okay, here we are after a few minutes and 
Rococo is still pacing in front of and in slow motion, just like right in front of Mr. Tuxedo Cat. And Mr. Tuxedo Cat is not moving. He is not budged. The rain has pretty much stopped. It was raining earlier. Okay, so <laughs> there was a bit of a fight. Okay, he's a little roughed up from the encounter with Mr. Tuxedo. Mr. Tuxedo was not happy with him. But Rococo seems to be over. It, was, it wasn't such a big deal. Sometimes a little yelling and screaming and fighting. You know, it's just part of life just to make you appreciate when it's peaceful and quiet. Oh, there's a lot of kids outside right now playing chase and scootering. And Rokoko wanted to see what they're doing. He was on the meridian watching them. But now he's ready to move on. But I saw Malibu also, the other dog. He's coming up soon, so we might meet him. Oh, look at this. Is that what you're doing, eh? <laughs> Hey, who's that? Oh, a cat. Who's that? Hey, is that your friend? Yeah, I know. Hey, don't scare them. Look at that, eh? Who's that? Hey, who's that? Who's that? Hey. Bye, Malibu. Oh, hey, that's enough. Okay, saw something across on the other side of the fence. I think it was gonna be because I saw a big shadow. Hoping to capture it. Um, I don't see it. He really is interested in, oh, no, you can't go under the fence. He wants to go see it's just the back of Farmer Ben's property. And <gasps> wait, wait, you can't go under. Anything there? Look at him, he's getting his head stuck underneath. He wants to go under and see what's there. Well, for all I know, it could be a cougar or a small deer. It could be anywhere in there now. So dense. Can't see anything. You see something here again. What do you see? Just in the back of the property here. Hmm. I think we might be going down to the creek this time. Let's see what he says. Oh, there's a doorway. We're gonna go. It's exciting. We've never made it all the way down, I don't think. Not to the water anyway, it's just a few feet away. So we'll put some chairs here. So they said they're gonna plant some native species here. He's looking up in the trees there. Oh, I think he wants to go check it out too now. I don't know how far I'm willing to go. It, it, looks, it looks like we're gonna go down. Glad I'm wearing some long pants and running shoes. Oh, his tail's really puffy. Hope it's nothing dangerous here. It's kind of spooky. Don't know if you'll see a bear here or anything like that. Well, 
We almost made it. It's just down there, but he's turning back. We're gonna go. He's around the palm tree here now. How cool the bark is on this tree. Oh, he's crossing the street without me. Mm, they missed this big old tree here. All the trees look so nice. Anyways, look at all the roots pushing up. Rogoko is still sniffing with the cats. Usually sunbathe. Thankfully they're not here at the moment. Well, whoever's still watching my channel, thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up for me and let me know that you enjoyed it. Thank you.